My name is Elizabeth Underwood and I am the Lionfish Program Coordinator at REEF, or REEF Environmental Education Foundation. We're a marine conservation nonprofit group based down in Key Largo and a large part of what we do is education and outreach about lionfish. And for those of you that don't know, this is what a lionfish looks like and they are an invasive species of fish and they are wreaking havoc on all of our marine ecosystems along the entire coast of Florida and even throughout the entire Southeast United States. Um, we're concerned because these fish are depleting our native uh, marine fish and other species. Um, some scientists are calling this one of the worst ecological disasters that we've yet to face. Uh, so our solution to this problem is to get these guys out of the water and a bonus to that is they taste really, really great. This is a wonderful uh, fish. You can get some really nice fillets off of them. It's a light, flaky meat. Uh, it tastes a lot like hogfish, uh, so it doesn't taste very fishy, which means you can prepare it a whole host of different ways. Um, so right now, I'm gonna show you how to safely fillet a lionfish. Lionfish are venomous, not to be confused with poisonous. They have 18 venomous spines, and I'll show you where those are in just a minute. But the meat, the fillets off of these fish are completely fine. You can actually eat it as sushi. It's delicious. Um, but you do have to watch out for those 18 venomous spines. And you want to make sure that you don't get punctured by these. So on the dorsal side of the fish here, along the back side, they have 13 of these venomous spines. You can see these spines are extremely sharp. It doesn't take much force for one of these to puncture your skin. So they have 13 along the dorsal side here. Now along the belly of the fish, they have two pelvic fins right here. They have one right here and one right here. And at the leading edge of those pelvic fins is one short spine. See, I'm running my thumb along it right there. So they have one at the leading edge of each pelvic fin. And then finally, also on the underside of the fish, they have this anal fin, and there are three very short spines at the leading edge of that anal fin located right there. So these are the areas that you have to watch out for. The pectoral fins that are along the side of the fish, these huge, beautiful flowing pectoral fins, those are not venomous. And the caudal fin back here at the back of the fish, this is not venomous as well. So. Usually when you're filleting and you want to make sure that you don't get punctured by one of these spines, it's a good idea to go ahead and cut them off. Now the venom is contained throughout the entire length of the spine, so you want to make sure to cut it as close as you can to the base of the spine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm just going to take some scissors or shears, works just fine, and you just want to cut as close as you can to the base of those spines and cut them off and then you can just set them aside safely. So now there aren't any venomous spines left on this fish, so you can handle it without having to worry about any of that. Now this is a pretty small lionfish, so filleting one of these that's this size can be a little bit tricky, but the same idea goes for filleting a bigger lionfish. And it's really quite simple. It's like filleting any other type of fish. So the first cut that I wanna make is in between the horns of the lionfish right here. They have two little horns. And then where that first dorsal spine was, I'm gonna make my first cut in between those. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut along that pectoral fin and make a nice diagonal cut just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another cut along the dorsal side of the fish here. And then the last cut I'm gonna make is on the underside of the fish right here. And now what I'm dealing with is three cuts that have all been connected. So now you can actually just peel back the skin to de-skin the fish, and it peels off very easily, and now I don't have to worry about the skin anymore. And then all you can do is you can take your fillet knife and just run it along the dorsal side of this fish until you cut in to that fish, and then you just fillet it like you would any other fish as you just work your fillet knife into that meat. 
And that's how you fillet a lionfish, and you end up with a nice, white, flaky fish that can be eaten, and it is absolutely delicious.